Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is one of the first videos that uh, I'm going to do in a while uh, out of my Twitch uh, life. And this is going to be uh, a video about how to, to play in Black Forest. A lot of people ask me how to open in BF, but it's, it's always tricky. It's always tricky. Hopefully you are going to enjoy, guys. And you know, if you like this video, you, you will help a lot if you thumb up and leave a comment below the video. But before the start, I'm going to, to launch the game, also Capture H. I'm gonna show you what we are going to see here. And then we can like the video later, right? Because this is going to be very, very nice. Okay, I'm loading already. You can see the video, all right. And I'm going to sped up a little bit just a little because it's gonna otherwise will be very long okay and now we can focus this is black forest this is i am uh, playing in this game also and nbl for example and why this video is called like it is opening uh, bf with mbl because there's a lot of a lot of choices to to yeah to play in these maps right and uh, for example this is perfect, perfect example. Raspberry Blue is going directly with three villages uh, at wall. So his boom is gonna be really, really slow down. Well, MBL is just with the Eagle, okay? He's with Inca, so that helps him a lot to don't go because he's gonna take always the scout battle. But now he's getting a forward wall. But what happened with three villages? He's gonna be idle to see for sure. Also, he did early loom. Well, MBL is not doing anything of that. He's confident on his strength and he has a lot of reasons to do it, right? And then he's gonna make the, the standard opening with six villages on foot, then the wood. But what's happening here if you are playing a team game? You can see how the other pocket is also going here. Look at the house. You see? You see how MBL and me are going to this area and he's sending villages too. So another pocket that is gonna be slow down and in boom, at some high level play, when you are sending bullies that fast, you're really gonna get behind for sure. You can see how red is not sending anything either, and orange has wall already. So everyone who is sending bullies earlier, it will secure them up, but the boom is gonna be really, really slower. Anyway, the, there is thousands of strategies in this in these games and uh, depend on what civilization you are, depend on your teammate, but you always have to check the minimap. And for example, for me, you can see that I got not big gaps, one, two, right? And maybe this one. So when you are in these kind of situations, the ideal position here for me is just wall myself to avoid any potential rush, like you can see, because this is the only gap between uh, MBL and me. And uh, you will see what I do in the in this one. Now I'm gonna lose the scout. This is recorded game, of course, because I have played this uh, before, so I know what's going on. But this is helps to me to make like a little tutorial, like I'm like I'm doing. You can see how orange is getting all, all the map, walling all the gaps. But depend of the civilization, what I have, I have Japanese. Japanese is a great civilization. For example, if I had a lake, and MBL is going to go for the lake. But guys, if you are playing and you don't have the same level than MBL, what what strategy I recommend you to do? Well, probably what Blue did is safer, you know? You will wall and then you will have more time. But uh, the booming coming here for MBL and myself is gonna be very strong, why? Because we are not sending anything. And you can check the population, right? The population will be always ahead for us. Always ahead. MBL is already 18. Well, I am 17, but I am the same because I just lost the scout. So we have the same values, right? Okay. Well, this is... Now it's become a little bit more standard. Nothing more to, to comment. But you can see what I'm doing here. I have four villages on wood. Then I have three villages on berries. And everything else is on foot. Three farmers. I'm gonna send one or two villages on gold because it seems I didn't make the loom. You have a hundred foot, and BL also has a hundred foot, so we are the only one with without the loom. 
till late game. You can see that Kellar is already doing the loom and probably will go up now with 21, 22 population. Let me check. Portuguese, he's up really quick. So he's gonna make some, some battle here. Probably trying to recover those walls or maybe to secure. Remember that BF is a much more complex map. Teal is getting all the map. Well, walling all the map, but as a pocket, he's doing the dog, doing the lake. So, you have to decide what you want. A fast boom and try to dominate or map control. This kind of uh, situation might work here, but maybe it's not working. So for that, this uh, Black Forest games, I really like it because there's not a, a single strategy that it's going to work. Definitely not. There is a lot of potential strategies to do it. And that's nice because... Mm, but if you make a tutorial, there's plenty, plenty of tutorials, which in my opinion is really, really nice. Oh, what Red is doing? Red, for example, is walling. Okay. Ah, there was a wall. There was a Billy Sneak. I just noticed even being on the other side because you, you need to check that. Well, teamwork is it's always needed. You have to always pay attention. He wants to take those boards. Maybe for that he's doing this time up. It seems so. No, no, no. It was just tricky him, and now he's doing the tower, okay. He palisade to protect himself. But those are different stuff. We can focus now in, in the boom itself. Blue is not too confident of his teammate, and this is something that I recommend you too much. A lot of people get surprised by a scout, a sneak, a drash, men at arms, but then if you wall yourself, if you only have one connection to your teammate, well, I would recommend to make an outpost, because in this situation, if you make an outpost, ah, uh, you will see if he, there is going to be a sneak or something and maybe he's going to wall off. Always be aware, this map is much more complicated than it looks. Also, if you explore and see two jowers, leave a tricky palisade here. That will help. That actually will help. You see, and now, look at the time I am doing. Yeah, in this game, I even, I even look that I am a good player. But don't worry, guys, it's fake. It's absolutely fake, right? But with the composition I told you, with two villages of gold, four villages with, with Japan. Maybe with other civilizations, six villages is needed because the wood won't be an oath to make the blast beat and the market. And right now, I have the resources and I'm up to castle list. Look at that time. Probably one of my fastest castle time. Never seen before. I'm joking with MBL. <laughs> and that I, I didn't see it before either. So, what happened here? MBL also is taking a risk. Imagine if blue is now coming or teal going to sneak. He's not walling anything. And this is, of course, a good way to boom and, and dominate booming. But if the other team is rushing, then what? So, in this kind of situation, what is my advice for you guys? If you want to play and be safe more or less in this map. Now, I will go wall with only one value. If he got the eagle, I don't know. The eagle, I think he lost it because it was inside. But if you got the, your scout in your base... Just go, send, and defend the ward that will leave Palisade Wall. Or a Stone Wall, maybe. But MBL is mining gold. Yeah, for that reason, look what he's doing. In case that he's getting rushed, he's walling off me out. Not walling off because he's doing a Palisade yet, but protecting, you know? And now, just look what I did. I sent it one villain. I got lucky because the Jaguars were there, but I wall myself here. Now I have some deers there, hopefully I will notice soon. And probably two, those two passages will be will be nice to, to palisade. They are walling all everything. And now the big battle, well, they made some towers. So we can scroll up and I will show you what happened in this game. The times, you can see the different times. MBL is not that fast according to Blue. But why? Because MBL got right now 35 population. He even got the scout up and he got 30. So he's faster than his opponent with 5 population more. And, and MBL is not faster because he did the fishing ships, you know. Uh, about the fish, always dock if there's 3 short fish. If there is less than 3, don't do it. Really, don't do it. Well, I will scroll, scroll up because this, uh, this is a good opening. But like I'm telling you. This is very risky to do it what MBL did. For me, it's safer because I am pocket, 
you can see that I have already three tone centers in minute 16, which is great. So I'm doing a, a very nice boom. And I wall a little bit here. Didn't cost me too much resources. And here, well, I have the TC. So even if I'm getting ready, I will gather the values, but only one gap. But here, you can see he's exploring and MBL is taking a, a big risk. Imagine if the opponent were, for example, Spanish, but you can see he's Turks and the Turks, look what he's doing. He's coming here to make a castle. I think we could scroll scroll faster a little bit. Yeah, it, like 80%. Because the purpose of this video is about the map control, you know? Look what MBL is doing. He's doing here at home center, right? With the goal. Now he's gonna palisade. The others are just standard booming. Yeah, here's some towers. We'll wall. And now you have to wall. Map control, man. The map control, he's trying to get it, but definitely the boom from MBL and I me, mean, it seems to be stronger, right? Much stronger. Let's check here, you can see the list down also for the players. Attackers is in Castle Age with one, also he did fishing shift for that, his population is strong. But probably his tone center, you see the difference with the TCs? He still have one tone center only, which is not ideal in this situation. And now he's gonna try to to attack here. What what will happen in this situation? If you don't make an old damage, then you might be behind in economy. Really, really behind. Okay. Anyway, the purpose is there is different situations when you play this map. As you can see now, he deleted just to see what's going on. Yeah, and MBL is taking a risk, but the players respect. The others, but remember, you are not MBL. I'm not MBL either. If I wasn't pocket, I would probably have walled this already with the stone walls, right? Maybe it's not the best choice. It depends to send really super early in the game. Why? Because if you get a really forward wall, but your opponent got siege owner civilizations, they can cut later. Also, you can cut with, with owners in Wall of Kingdoms, remember? So pay attention. Pay really, really attention. But Sandy Billy is too early. It's always complicated. He's doing TCs in top of those hills. Like you can see. But he's getting rash. Right. But MBL is still fine. 60 population. I am with 57. Doing the four tone center. And they are walling here. And walling more and more. Well. They are well defended. The boom is, is good. But you can see guys. That if you don't make now damage. And with Mangonel, without Knights, you can raid, so... Oh, 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 he's trying. You will be really behind in economy. So, guys, remember. Main, main goal here. Don't fall behind in economy. How to do that? If the map is too open... Really, if it's too open, I wouldn't send Villiers early. I will just go a little bit with the economy and wait that your opponent... Is doing. If he's walling like he did, well, then you go after and wall up. Yeah, you don't. You. I mean, MBL wouldn't lose too much. He's being a little bit confident here, you know. And uh, depending on the situation, that can cause you a lot of games, you know. Also, MBL is super fast. So let's think about normal players, right? He's going with two mangroves, so you can see that he's getting rash. But he's still ahead in population. I am really ahead in population too, as a pocket. So, he won't have a problem. Not for now. Uh-oh, you can see this. Ah, he's really good with the mangonels. Great. And this only makes me feel right on what I'm talking. Now he lost a few value. He did the loom. He did it. And now, a siege was up on top of that hill. And you can see how he's microing. But now, you can see. My boom is really, really smooth. But even like that, even under the pressure... He's still being ahead in population to me. Well, the fishing ship probably. The least is pretty much the same. Yeah, well, we can see. 85, 86. We are the same. But but still, they only made mo uh, mangonels. Imagine if they did, one of the players did knights and the other siege. Now he's doing the barrack. But uh, they're going to be behind in economy. Definitely they're going to be behind. Now, on the other side, they are protecting with, with castle. Of course, we are ahead in, uh, in economy. 
as you can see here now the castle i'm coming to help mbl and uh, after this they stop the, the the rush why because they know they are behind i am going to imperial and uh, he has mangonos already monastery so pretty much according to how to open and how to play in bf i think it's pretty clear what i'm trying to, to show in this youtube video right yeah you all we have to check the minimap and decide also the civilization because imagine that you are not incas or you are a weaker civilization versus a crazy strong civilization in imperial you might want to get some forward walls right yeah but i think that going too early with villiers is very tricky and very dangerous depends the situation right but it's very very dangerous i'd rather prefer to don't send villiers and if you want to recover the walls go up fast right go up fast and then try to to recover with towers with so many at arms but now look at the castle he's doing blue okay i'm already there with some army but uh you can see the population difference is there but the most important is the timing i am already imperial age well blue and teal will be three minutes behind than me and MBL. I'm doing the least summarize already when they are not yet in Imperial. So, do you think it was worthy? It was worthy the walls, it was worthy the mangonels, it was worthy all they did. It doesn't look like it was worthy, right? Yeah, because MBL is in Imperial already. And MBL, because he didn't wall, but if he walled one stone wall, then the other players will be even more behind than, than MBL even more because MBL had to deal with this yeah okay doing all the upgrades on top of that you can see how green is also with a good population i mean the players are playing good like they are controlling two castles and it's still even going to imperial 2 with over 100 villages a really good play there by by green but by everyone you know they're doing army not doing the full boom but manage the economy perfect you can see the castle here but now with the advantage we had, what MBL is going to do is onigers. He's gonna cut. You can also read here in the chat. Okay. And, uh, well, basically, the purpose of this video, it is done. Now we're going to see the, the end of the video because you probably want to see how the, the game finished and how and who is winning. But uh, you can notice the big difference, the timing. You can analyze this video yourself. With Capture Age, you can see absolutely everything. Because you can see the wood, the food, the gold, the stone. And now you can see how with the trebuchet, we are taking the castles down. I have the Samurais. And doing all the upgrades there. You can see it there. And Biel is doing the uprooting. Uprooting is a, a special upgrade that it's only happened on this Black Forest special map. No Kutali mission. Because... We made in this map that the owners cannot cut by default. You need to make that upgrade that is basically caused like a siege owner upgrade and then it lets the owners cut again. You can see how MBL is just going to start to cut there and then we'll go straight into the middle. Yeah, but from there, I mean, if the other players has good population because they are good players, they fall behind and being aggressive, it gives a lot of a lot of games, you know. And civilizations, we have Inca, Japanese, Britons, and Portuguese. While they have Turks, a really strong civilization. Well, against Britons, he's not that great, probably. But then they have Teutons and Malians. Sea Chonor civilizations that if you go to late, late game, that can be a big problem. But now, Teal will get a big surprise. I will put the Fog of War. And for now, he cannot see anything. But look what is happening here. Ah! Uh, Surprise, amigos. Surprise. And now, look. Elite Kamayuks. Also, towers, castle, bomber cannon, the least samurai. Yeah. And now, I have 44 army, MBL 47. But look at the others. Almost no army at all. Why? Because of the boom we were talking in the start. Yeah, he has few bomber cannons there to defend. But now we are in the middle. They cannot trade properly. And the destruction is start to be real. They still have population, yeah. But uh, it's big problems here. Big, big problems. So, conclusion to this, game, uh, to this video. 
if you want to make a, a huge boom, don't send Vilis forward that fast. But you saw here what happened. And BL took a risk and he didn't pay off that risk because he's a great player. But if you are playing, I recommend you to wall. Don't do what he did. Because then you can be big problems. Really big problems. Yeah, yeah. But now, towers in the middle doing an, an amazing job here. The other side, they have uh, paladins, but they are walling. Not at all, but uh, he has a lot of halberd here, so he's fine. And there's a lot of threads, longbows here. But we focus here. Now we got the map control. Map control, it's huge. It's really important in, in most of the maps in Age of Empires. But in this one, probably even more. Because in late game, what you can do without without his calling the GG, what, what you can do without uh, without trade. They are not going to resign, they're gonna stay a little bit longer, if I don't remember wrong, but uh, yeah, tier population, 135, green has dropped a lot, really, really a lot, orange is still going with 200 pop, but yeah, the game seems to be pretty over. Well. The game is about to finish. I really hope that you like these videos. I'm going to analyze more maps, not only Black Forest, and more, more strategies. And when there is, for example, a situation that happens like here, for example, when MBL or me or whoever is playing do exactly the same he did, like play open, and then the other players just go crazy aggressive, and it makes you pay off your you're probably covered confident i will upload it if you want anyway any any suggestion about youtube content and what you like to watch will be really appreciated you can see that in this game and if you check i went up with 24 to to castellate to feudalate sorry then i did two villages market and blast me that with 26 for 10 minute castellate which is probably something standard that you can do with almost every civilization probably with the mongols you can be faster yeah, he's telling me to ignore that area and focus probably here, but it really doesn't matter because the game is already over. We are 200 population, well, green 120, teal 130, and a lot of army we had with the others. Yeah, basically, basically nothing. Guys, hopefully you have liked this video. The game is so over, they are about to resign, and if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe guys, thumb up and leave it a comment, it's really really important and any suggestions would be really appreciated. I'll see you next time, we love this game guys.